What is up everyone and welcome to a video that is probably a little bit sad but it shows progression and it shows the fact that the channel and me and my setup and everything is just moving on. Today I am making this very short video to announce that this video that you're watching right now will be the very last video edited for YouTube or for anything that I do on my very faithful 2008 Mac Pro. Now I got this thing in around January or February 2011. I haven't gone back to look at when I unboxed it, I can't remember, but I reckon it's around January, February 2011 because I sold my G5 and my MacBook before Christmas to fund this purchase. I bought it for around £1,400 and it's now nearly four and a half years later and it is still going strong. It's gone from a machine that came with a rather crappy 640 gigabyte Western Digital Caviar Blue Drive, four gigabytes of RAM, and an awful X1900 XT graphics card from ATI. And it's transformed into this monster with hardly any upgrades when you think about it. Double the RAM to eight gigs, SSD, GT640 video card, and it's now, even though it's a 2008 machine, it is still now driving three 1920 by 1200 monitors, and it is acting as my daily machine, or performing amazingly as my daily machine, pumping out five videos a week for YouTube alone, not counting all of the stuff that I do on top of this machine that is not YouTube related. So what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that this machine is an absolute powerhouse. It's a monster. And regardless of what the Geekbench scores say, regardless of how, how the actual speed is, regardless of any kind of benchmarks, you have to use a system to know how it performs. And this thing has been nothing but perfect for me. And yes, I am using the word perfect because I know that when I upgrade to using my Hackintosh, I'm going to get a few problems, I'm going to get a few issues here and there, it's not going to be plain sailing. But the experience that I had with this Mac Pro was total, total bliss, from day one all the way until now. Yes, I had a little bit of issues with the video card not, not too long ago, but that was, you know, totally my fault for not checking about drivers and updates and stuff like that. And it's not a Mac-specific card anyway, so that's my own fault. So, this Mac Pro is not going to be part of my setup any longer. Now. A lot of you guys um, know that the original plan was to put the Mac Pro 2008 in the recording studio upstairs. But considering certain life-changing events, I am not going to be doing that. I need as much money as I can get to fund my new family and to, uh, and to make sure that we have a good life when we're starting out. So keeping this machine is not worth it. Um, it's it's very sad to say, but I will probably have to sell the Mac Pro. Now, I wouldn't feel comfortable putting all of my eggs into the Hackintosh basket, but I own a MacBook Pro with Retina display. That is a real Mac, and that Mac outperforms this Mac Pro 2008 anyway. So if anything was to happen to my Hackintosh, I could simply use my MacBook Pro for all of my needs. Now, the Mac Pro will not be needed. When the Hackintosh is part of my main setup, I will no longer need this beauty of a machine. And it's gonna be really, really sad, and I will make another proper tribute video about it before I sell it, and it'll probably be a couple of weeks before I sell it. But still, I thought I'd mention it. The fact that I probably will not have a separate recording studio for much longer, and the fact that I need money to help me get started in my new life with my family, all of those things add up, and uh, I am going to have to sell the Mac Pro. Plus, it does take up quite a bit of space. It is a little bit of a monster. So, what is happening? Well, I'm going to film and document the process of putting the Hackintosh on my setup and setting up that machine and using it. I've had so many requests for Hackintosh videos, so I'm going to film everything, from ripping the Mac Pro off this setup to replacing it with the Hackintosh and everything in between. There's going to be lots of uh, boring bits, 
with data migration and stuff, but I know a lot of you true geeky people out there really do enjoy that. So the plan is to edit this video that you're watching right now on this Mac Pro. It is Friday today. You guys will also be watching this on Friday because this video will be released on Friday. And uh, once this video is uploading from my server, I will shut the Mac Pro down and start filming the videos that you will see next week. And that will be putting the Hackintosh on my main setup. Now, it's actually come at a good time because if I do some awesome point the camera at the screen skills here, you can probably see that on my media drive, which is a drive that I shouldn't be editing on anyway, I have around seven gigabytes remaining. And seven gigabytes should be um, just about enough to edit this video. That is the that is the disc that I've been using for a scratch disc for a little while now. So that will fill up that drive. And when I take the Mac Pro off the setup, I'll be docking the hard drives and organizing all of my data. I've got a couple more hard drives that I need to order. I need to order a couple of WD Green 2 terabytes because they are the drives that I'm choosing to archive my data onto to sit in to sit on the shelf and just wait there until I need them again in the future. And uh, the rest of it will just be deployed across my server and the new drives within the Hackintosh itself. So that is it. That is my Mac Pro. Last video that you guys are seeing edited on this beast. And um, to those of you asking, I did not need to upgrade, but it was an ideal time to upgrade because I will not be financially able to throw that kind of money into system building again for a very long time. So the Hackintosh has come at just the right time. 2015 is the year of upgrades and progression for me. And this setup is 10 times the setup it was a year ago today. Between the displays and how I have everything set out, how I have everything fully optimized for my use, the microphone, everything, all the cabling, everything is just how I like it. We are leaps and bounds ahead of what we were and the Hackintosh will only help to improve that. And it will really, really improve things being uh, sort of twice as fast heart of the setup and something that I've built myself is just so cool. But I will miss the Mac Pro 2008. This machine cost me around 1400 pounds, like I said, but I have made back every penny and probably like 10 times that, or maybe not 10 times that, maybe just like five times that from things that I have used this machine for, money-making schemes and stuff that I've put into place using this machine, as well as all the money I earn from YouTube. I could not do YouTube, I could not have done YouTube on the scale that I do it now using my older machines. It would have been impossible. And the Hackintosh will only help to improve upon that. So feel free to leave a comment on this video, everyone. I know it's been a pretty short one, but I hope you'll join me in wishing my Mac Pro a farewell. It won't be gone from my possession yet, and I do promise that I will make another video about the Mac Pro when I come to sell it. I am gonna try and get as much as I can for the Mac Pro, because I believe that I should not offer this for a great deal for anyone. Um, I should offer it for a fair price that is gonna be fair for the buyer and myself, around 400 pounds, something like that, um, with the upgrades. I'm not stripping anything out of it, only hard drives. So it'll probably have the SSD, It'll have the 8 gigs of RAM. It'll have the GT640. I think £400 is a fair price. But I'm not getting into that in this video. We will talk about that in the future. I hope you can leave a comment, like I said, just to wish my Mac Pro a farewell and uh, to welcome the Hackintosh onto, it, onto the scene. But this video has nothing to do with the Hackintosh. This is all just a little sort of initial early tribute to the Mac Pro um, because the next few videos sometime next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, whatever, they're going to be about putting the Hackintosh on the main setup and uh, they're going to be about me starting to use that machine as my main machine and any problems that I encounter or anything that I really like about doing that, there'll be discussions and all sorts. So before I talk and bore you to death even more, I'm going to say farewell. I hope you guys have an excellent weekend. Um, this video has been quite emotional probably for uh, lots of you because I know a lot of you found my channel through the Mac Pro unboxing and through the Mac Pro videos. So again, I know it's just a chunk of metal sitting there and it's just a machine, but I am gonna say it, massive thank you 
Mac Pro 3.1. You've been an awesome machine and you've just given me so many opportunities. And yes, that is probably a lame thing to say, but I don't care. I guess I am lame. Massive thank you for watching everyone. Please give this video a thumbs up for the Mac Pro. Hit that like button for the Mac Pro. It's been awesome. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in Monday's video.